but it has the 11 elements synthetically reproduced that make a fish bite. Talk about fish bites. Thing. Very, very smart man. Yep. Big orange float to make the sand flea up and wiggle. But in case a little fish peck out, peck the sand flea off, I'm going to add a small piece of fish bite, which is hard to get on. Which is better, it's hard to get off. The same way down here, I've got that clam wrapped on there with a the bait thread. And I'm going to put a piece of fish bites on here. And there we got a great combination. No matter if they do peck the clam off, the fish bite will stay on there for half an hour. But they'll eat that down to nothing. There will be a piece of gauze left there. That's how good it tastes and smells. Does that product break down in the salt water over a period of time? Oh yeah, it's only good for about 30 minutes. And the warmer the water, the faster it dissolves. This works so good. I wrote an article. I traveled down to Vero Beach to write an article for fish bites. The new world record pompano was caught with fish bites. But he didn't have it certified. They ate it. And a six pound pompano, both of us had 15 pounds of pompano on one of these rigs. It doesn't catch more fish than real bait unless you have lots of little fish picking the bait up really quick or you get a big migration of crabs, which we have a lot of crabs here right now. They'll eat the bait off and you won't even really see your rod wiggle. So fish bites go to the next hook and I've already got a couple pieces on there. Five different flavors. This on the top is clam, and this on the bottom is sand flea. He made them two different colors. This stuff, like, it has actually saved a lot of guide trips and personal trips for me and Mark. That's why we want to send you home with a with a, a pack of it. I only tell you one story out of a thousand before I sponsor. Mark and I and our wives were on a vacation below Tallahassee at St. George Island. Beautiful.